G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to 7 Days to Die Inferno. The rain has passed, which does kind of suck, and I'm currently at the top, ooh, I'm currently at the tippy top of this building. Where did I leave my bike? I left my bike all the way over there. I gotta go for it, I gotta go for it, because what I need to do is starting off a real body hectic, actually. I need to get the buckets of water out of my bike, because it's about to be day daytime, I'm about to get set on fire. Got no time. Got no time. Got to risk it. Oh my god. That was some serious clutch and some panic clicking. But we managed to come away with it. All right. I'm undercover. I'm undercover. I'm good. So good day, Chuck. So for the moment, at least, I'm not going to get set ablaze. Oh, that was dicey. That was really bloody dicey. We got away with it. So now I just need to dig myself a puddle, get ready to clear the rest of this POI. And then as soon as 6 a.m. rolls around, go on over and see Trader Potato. Oh, I can't believe that's how we're starting an episode, by jumping off buildings. The morning chime has gone. Chuck my buckets in, so I've got something to marinate myself into. You guys can go back down to there, so I know what's going on. At the moment, all this stuff down the bottom here is all my sellables. The rest of this stuff is just regular things that I've found throughout my adventure. You, get a little soggy, please. 100% sog, so I can go up to the top. There we go. Nice. All right, now we've got that in order, we can go back to what we were doing of actually fighting the zombie apocalypse. I don't fully remember how this place is laid out. Uh, do I go around the other side? No, over this way, maybe up over to here. No, you're still locked. There's the button that opens, I think, all of the hatches. I just don't know how to get into that little room because the door is well and truly locked. What's the, what's the correct way to do this? I'm losing all me goo while I'm trying to figure out the puzzle. No, you're all still locked. Oh, okay. Yep, apparently it's this way. I got a little jump scare then. Bonk. Bonk. I had to wait till daytime to make you guys a little less frightening. Sit you down. Come over here, please. You can actually stand in front of the door. There you go. See, look at me. I may be murdering you, but I'll always help you too. It's all kind of like yin and yang. Activate the switch. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so there's like gubbins in each of these things, but there's one main one that has all the loot, right? Is it down? Oh, no, that just takes me all the way down to get out of this place. Okay, fair enough then. Although I do kind of need to, given I'm getting pretty dried out all over again. Go into you. Get back in my little puddle of safety. Oh, jeez. There's little pit stops along the way to make sure I don't die really unfortunately. All the hatches are open, but so far nothing particularly, ooh, particularly promising. That's a little bit more promising, just right into the back here. G'day, buddy boy. Can I have that arrow back, please? I really don't have that many of them. I only got the two, so if you can give it back to me, I'd super appreciate it. Take you. You're worth like $73 redo, so I'll actually go and sell you because times are a little bit tough these days. Can't get out that way. Can't get out that way. All right, where's like... Where's the good loot then? Is it in the very last one? Of course it is. Of course I check every other bloody one except this one. This is where all the good shit's hiding out. What have you got for me? Now the wood splitter mod, some steel arrowheads. I don't think I can make steel arrows just yet, but I'll have a look scene. You can get sold. You can get sold. I'll keep you with me. Maybe take you back and get you into something else to make you worthwhile. Nothing else really. Any sunscreen. No, scrap that. All right, come on, come on. Last chance to impress me. Couple of poppin' pills boxes with... No, and... Ah, uh, no. All right, all right, that's fine. Let's go get wet and go see Trader. Both at the same time. The timing of that has actually worked out a peach. If anything, I'm a little bit early. Was there any other sources of fluid around here anywhere? I don't think so. Mm, I do have my one underneath the silos over there. I might just go and get a little bit soggy again, make sure I'm getting as much wetness into my clothes as I possibly can to stave off sunburn. Not that that's actually how it works. Just wash off your sunscreen if you go and get wet with it, rather than have any sort of... Oh, hang on. Meaningful help there. Sorry, Chuck. I just had to quickly do that to you. Oh, okay. All right, we're good. This is already a shambles. What up, Trader Hugh? I'm finally here and ready to mingle. It's not quite the expression, but whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, I'll go through all of the rest of your gubbins in a sec because I'm desperately low on space right now. Quickly chuck in some minty fresh breath and go and say g'day. How are you, bud? something special? I don't know, I'm just looking for you. you. So if you can scratch my itch, then I'm all now. for it. Sure, uh, thank you, you for the XP. So long, More importantly though, great. please buy that, and that, and that, and that, and all this extra gubs. Make some money and feel good about myself. 
and bonds might level up as well. That's a real good time. That's actually given me two skill right, points right, to spend. Hold map. on, hold your horses. Uh, can I get another level of better barter? I can. I just sold a bunch of stuff, but it's fine. This is still a good option. I'll take you, and with the other points... Mm, level 3 fortitude to get the next living off the land, which means crop plots are 50% uh, less to craft, and I harvest... I have a 50% chance of one additional crop. So, like, is there nothing in here that guarantees getting the seeds back? I guess not. I guess not. In that case, is there something a little bit more worthy of my expenditure? Master Chef, don't need that. Mother load will probably come in handy. Mm, oh, there might be something better for that yet. Might be something better for that yet, though. And nothing really in here. All right, you know what? Now, nah, let's do it then. Let's start pushing towards living off the land. It's a long way to go to get it, but I think it's kind of necessary. Now, what have you got to sell me? He's actually got four-fifths of fuck all to sell me here. He's got some bullet casings and whatnot, which I suppose I'm going to buy anyway. And while I've got my, uh, my, uh... What should I call it? My sugar bites candy rolling for me. May as well. Duct tape, no springs, no gunpowder. Sure, it's not much. Steel is expensive. Four gram for 34. Nah, no crystal either. What's in your secret stash then? Oh, check you real quick. Nah, no books I haven't bought yet. Fireman's Almanac. Reduce chance to be lit on fire by 25%. Does that count for sunfire? Like for sunburn? I don't know. I'll buy it anyway. Can't hurt to have, I suppose. Steel armor schematic. Not the steel tool schematic, which kind of sucks. Uh, not much else. And that's it. That's all you've got to offer me. Well, that's all you're going to buy. I'll let you show yourself. You're more than welcome to have more on offer for me than that, because that was nothing. Clear yes, zombies. I think that's actually yes, back yes, in my regular hometown. Oh, it's not. It's just outside of town. Mm, tempting, but not more tempting than your own gun safe. <gasps> Shit, I'm dry. Shit, I'm dry. No! How am I gonna get wet in here now? Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Okay, well, that's a pretty big problemo. How am I gonna get back on my bike and back to my other puddle if I can't get out of the freaking trainer compound? Shit! I guess we just have to wait for it to rain, which means it's just me and Trady Hugh for a little while. I'll read that book nice and quickly, though. So what was it? Like, less of a chance of getting set on fire. How does that work? No, okay, yep, it still burns, probably rightly so. Okay, never mind then, it was worth a little check though. Okay, well, got some time to kill, better put our feet up and... Ooh, around the fires, is it too shabby at all? Oi, Huey, bring us a froth, would ya? This is actually my idea of a nightmare, being stuck inside the trader compound, because I can't even build, like, my awnings, my, my verandas around the place to get out of the joint. I can't place blocks in here, so I'm kind of the shit out of luck. That's a lot of lockpicks I've just lost right there. If you could just let me inside you, that would be fucking fantastic. Nah, I'm locked out. I'm shut out and left in the cold. Didn't realize I'd found trader gents. There we go, finally. After 8 billion lockpicks were snapped, we're finally getting inside for polymer string bots, some ammo, and some handgun parts. You can just actually take them right off me again. Cheese begiz. Nothing else I really want to sell you. You're worth 120 bucks, I'll sell you too. Ammo I'll never use, I'll sell you too. I'm going stir crazy. I'm going stir crazy. I'm well, locked inside time, and it's making something. me sell all my shit to you. If you wait too long, I might sell you my pants as well. Do you reckon the catwalks will keep me safe from the sunburn? Ooh, it might have actually. Hang on. It, it, it kind of does. It kind of does. It's just not fantastic. There's a lot of room for error here. Ooh, or not a lot of room for error. I think it's probably the right way to say that. Anything in you? No, just some sand. I can't go that way. I can only... <laughs> I can, like, edge my way through. Centimeter by centimeter to try and make my way around the bloody joint. If I could get... Uh -huh. Ow! If I could get down into the well or something, that would be the tits. But I don't think I can. I'll take that yucca seed with me. Uh, don't need you. And... Oh, actually, I will take you and I will take you. Can't go that way. Because if I can... Huh, lovely. If I can get back in and sell that to him, it's worth like another 30 bucks. <gasps> another 30 bucks or so. Am I ever going to make one, though? Fuck it. It's knowledge. I'll take it anyway just to be nice and happy with it. Uh, don't need you. I'll take that. Oi. Oi, Bobby boy. Not Bobby boy. Huey boy. I've got some shit to He's sell you. It's little shit. Man. It came out of your garbage. Do you reckon I can make it? Oh, this might work out as well, actually. Oh, I can't place anything, though, to actually get up there. Ah, uh, fuck it. It's worth it. Go, go, go. Faster, dickhead. Faster up the stairs, please. 
Oh, that hurt a fair bit. But that's why I carried all the first aid bandos for exactly this reason. To patch myself back together when everything melts off me. Please have something good. Please have something worthwhile. Seal knuckles and some ammo. That wasn't worthwhile at all. Uh, I'm going to go that way. Hup, out, around. I know what burns. I know what burns. Let's get underneath the cover. Oh, this sucks. That might be too far for me to go. But, oh, but then if, if I get to the tower there, like the ammo crates inside the central building. So that still wouldn't work. I'm just going to go like this, up, over, and in, please. Oh, jeez, it hurts. It hurts so much. I'm going to have to sacrifice a lot of my well-being and my health until it starts raining again, which who the fuck knows when that's going to be. Sure, take you. Can't take the mushies because there's his own personal supply. This uh, this has gone tits up rather considerably. Let's grab the last of the gubbins in here. Working his tits box for not a lot of good, but some frames are always appreciated. And that's it. That's it? I thought you had some more, Huey. Did you get rid of one of your boxes? I thought there was two. That's a stitch up. That's a right royal stitch up right there. My bloody butt is about as red as my cheeks. Huh? All right. Well, never mind then. I'm going to go back up and get a little birdie again, make my way back inside and start doing a rain dance. I'm just not going to have any luck with this at all, am I? Was there any, like, secret bookshelves or something around here that I've missed? Ooh, there's a fridge. Cheeky bevy for, ooh, a frothy and a yucca juice. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. But seriously, any bookshelves, any knowledge you can impart, any wisdom you can give, some more fluids. Look, I know it's hot outside and staying hydrated is considered wisdom. Not exactly what I'm after. Bookshelf with, ooh, yucca juice smoothie recipe. How do I make you? Isn't that with, like, snow? I don't think I can get snow from anywhere in this, in this series because there's no winter biome. Spotlight's manic, thank you. Potentially from, like, ice boxes, I think, but that's really about it. My next problem is that even if I make it... Ah, fuck. Even if I make it outside... Just slap on the first day banner for that one. Pretend like it didn't happen. If I make it outside, it's not like... I should have built that to start with. It's not like the trader back over here where I have the hydration station immediately across the road. The closest I've got to try and wet my whistle is there. Potentially, I could, like, jump over the wall and make that run. How far is it? How far is it? 70... Well, not from here, actually. It's, like, 70 meters or so. Is that actually doable? I'd have to, like... Oh, how do I get over, like, the spikes on the top, though? Because even though you can't make those anymore, those will still hold if I stand on them. I'm not sure I have a great option here. I might be stranded. Fuck! I suppose it had to happen eventually. I had to get stranded somewhere eventually. <sighs> it just sucks that I can't even build my way out of here either. That's why I carry so many goddamn frames on me, and now I've got nothing to do but sit and watch the weather. And I hope that at some point, a cheeky little drizzle will come through. Just enough for me to make it to the pond out there to fill up my buckets and make myself a dipping pool. <sighs> oh, man. I... I don't like being trapped. I'm going stir crazy already. Like I'm sailing to Flint's Island. I'm getting cabin fever. Well, there's literally nothing for it. Huey, I'm real sorry to do this to you there, champion, but I'm going to quickly get my stick out and take off my pants. All of that. Just really get myself nice and cozy over here. Nothing but the old budgie smugs. Get nice and cruisy. Froffy's in. Cheers, knackers. You're welcome to come and join whenever you knock off. But coffees and froffies. Probably the wrong order to do it, but that's fine. It's going to sit here with my mug and just wait. Just wait for the weather to fucking change. You know what? I can't handle it anymore. I can't handle it anymore. I need to get out of here. I need to do something. I, need, I can't just sit here and wait for all that time. Not only would that be shock and bloody content, but I also just don't have the patience to sit here and twiddle me thumbs. Can I go out this way? No, I can't. What I need to do is, this is the problem. I need to get over this fence, which means I need to start up a little bit higher and find a way through. Do you reckon I can heal myself with bandages as fast as my health gets take away from burning? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I might just have to eat this, you know? I might just have to friggin' eat this. You just go there. I just need to make it to the water. Ready or not, here I come. I need that actually to get myself some extra uh, stamina regeneration. Let's fucking go. Huh? Ah, out we go. It's gonna hurt. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Up and over. Up and over. We're out. We're going. Slap that on. Just keep running. Just keep running. Don't think. Just do. Just make it to the pond of dreams. Get inside it. Okay. Okay. That hurts a lot. A fucking lot. We're below half health out of that one, but we've made it to the pond. 
at about midday. All right, job done. Let's go and... Oh, actually, let's fill the bucket so I can go and make myself a little ponder safety outside trade potatoes. Not have to deal with this problem again. All right, find the point directly across the road. That will do. That will do. And, ooh, that's... Okay, we're just gonna go here. We'll go here. We'll dig a little channel and chuck in our wonderful water supplies. In you go. So I get stuck there again. At least I know I can just run through the gate and get out to here and not have to worry that much about it. Look at... Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck right off. You are not gonna start raining on me right now. After all of that heartache and all of those issues... What the fuck? Suck the entirety of my dick, you piece of shit of a game. You can't fucking do that to me. Fuck! I hate this game. I hate this game. You know what? I'm surprised every droplet of this isn't resonating golden yellowness because this is definitely a golden shower. The gods are literally taking the old P155 all over me fucking face like I'm moisturizing in it. Oh, you bastards. You bloody bastards. Let's get to the 100% go. If I can, please. Yeah, there you go. I still have the bloody ammo chest at the top to go and grab as well. The shenanigans. The shenanigans of the joint. Just some extra gubbins that I don't particularly care about. I was going to say, I think I heard... Is there someone in here with me? I heard the tippy tappies of a Bernie boy. You... No? Yes! I was gonna say, someone is definitely in here, and I'll find him sooner rather than later. Alright. Now that it's raining... Ooh! What? Ooh! I didn't realize you had pet pigs, and I didn't realize... How the... How the dick has that happened? I don't know. I'm not gonna ask any questions. Just take the loot instead. Can I murder your pigs? I feel a little bad about this, but to be honest, I... Listen, I've gone crazy after my afternoon here. I can too. I didn't realize you had pet boars. Oh, that works for me. Just like that and see if I can quickly finish you off. Can I? Not quite. There we go. Hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Quickly harvest you up. Cheeky bit of bacon. Nice. So what I did want to do before I got distracted by my little predicament I was in before, uh, was see if I could find anywhere out here that might have the potential to give me some books or some knowledge. Because I'm still looking for that auger. I'll grab you for future me. So I get that, that same problem uh, again. That one. In you go. Anything else doesn't stack like you. That can go back down to here. And so can that one. What else can I chuck in there? You guys, anything that doesn't stack, it's put away. Just to save myself uh, the problems for later on. That one, I'm not going to find more of those, I don't think. You can go to there. You can go back to them. How are we looking? No longer cucumber. That's all lovely dovely. All right, let's have a little squiz about. See what's in this bloody town. See if there's something actually worthwhile. Oh, I see in the distance. You know what? Fuck it. Let's get bold with it. I'm going... This is a no, that's a dumb idea, actually, because there's no cover. There's no cover in the construction site POI at all. The building's not built. There's nowhere for me to take shelter in to try not to burn to this. It's probably a really bad idea. Is there anywhere else around here, though, that might give me that auger schematic? You want to subscribe to auger monthly? Never mind, then. Nor am I seeing anything out of here that's going to have a zombie bear. Hold on. No. There we go. There we go. You're big and majestic and horny. Me too. But I'm going to take your meat this time. Oh, another tier three baseball bat. Don't mind if I do. Just hanging out in someone's car. Well, at least they were the sporty type. This must be the sporty spices car. Cheeky dingo just down the road. Give you a, a little bonk and a little finish. I'm sorry to do it to you like that. But you're alive one second, gone the next. The most humane way I could think to do it. Oh, go away. Go away. Look. You can't do that, all right? I'm a man trying to survive. I gotta do what I gotta do. I'm gonna just stick to the outskirts as much as I can and keep my eyes... Oh, oh, it's a working stiff. Keep my eyes for a friend where that has any sort of potential. As we've talked about, though, going into, like, a working stiff to find tool parts, it doesn't, like, the schematic for a tool doesn't really pan out that way for nails. All right, now I have 10 nails. I have enough for one more storage box. Where else can I go? Where else can I go? Where else is going to give me what I need? I like how this thunderstorm, by the way, showed up five minutes late and has been going for hours just to really rub some salty water on that wound. It's a savage country just here, but that's kind of like an all-in-one store, and if it's all for one, then it's not really like, good or specialized in any of them. Boiled meat recipe. Oh, God. 
All right, that thing goes barking, doing flips and shit, probably splashing, getting everybody all wet. But this ain't Sea World. This is real as it gets. I'm playing Seven Days to Die and I'm burning my bits. Sorry, I really shouldn't get carried away like that. I just really like that song. But I finally found a cracker book at the end of all of that, just as the rain finally subsides a little bit. Uh, you can just know. Uh, I need to figure out a way to... You know, ooh, yeah, you know what, actually? I've got 38% hydration. Yeah, come over here, please, Dick Cheese. Catch it later. I'm going to quickly dig a little thingo just out here, as I tend to do. You like that. You like that. I can get myself a little awning out to this bit. That'll be fine. All of my water is still in you. That one, both of you. Uh, just give me both of them. Just give both of them nice and quick. Don't think, just do. That shadow is still terrifying me. And grab... You guys... Oh, wait, one more. One more. Got to make it nice and deep in the middle so it's at least two blocks deep so I can actually get submerged in it. Like that. Drop on in. Ha, ah, perfect. For once in my life, I'm going to try and do this properly. Give me uh, a plate, please. I thought I heard someone. No, it's just someone tickling a cactus. That's fine. Flip you upside down. And I'm just going to go like this, actually. All the way out to my lovely little pocket of fluids. You're almost there. Give you a little bit of support. Can I go? Like that. Like that. And then on the side, I can act as a pillar. Nice. And across like this. So if I have to leave this later on, have to make my way back out here again, I have some nice sky bridge to get all the way through without getting set on fire. That's good. That's a smart cricket by me. It's unusual, I know. There's no galahs hiding out in the corners, which is highly freaking unusual. Oh, I see you though. Right. There, the back of the elbow. I was going for those thick-ass thunder thighs because I couldn't help myself, but hit the wrong bit. Oh, jeez. I said thick thunder thighs, and I was excited about it, and Loz has come over to say good day and really have a bit of a, like, question about that. Like, oi, you serious? You weren't forgotten, Loz. You just weren't an eyesight at that moment. Just calm your far. I was trying to play this slow and sensibly, but I think we all agree. Oh, my fucking lord. That's going to be a horrendous idea. I've got one arrow on me. And my archery skills have been letting me down a lot lately. And continue to do so even now. All right, well, let's go to the next option. And that's a point blank shotgun to the side of the head. Hopefully trying to stay stealthy as well. Just please don't wake up. Please don't wake up. That's about close enough, I think. Didn't die. Did die. Okay, the quick follow up is on the name of the game. So now I can't hit shit. Oh God. Oh God, I'm just, I'm panicking. And I hear someone behind me that's using the earlobes. Josh, love your work. Get your stab in the back, please, because you're about to fucking cook it. Shit, fuck, balls. Oh, I hate this. I hate this. Die. Please, everyone just freaking die. I'm too hungry to fight you guys properly. If you're going to show up and cause a ruckus, the least you could do is bring a snack for me. Those aren't snacks. No, I appreciate the coffee. You actually gave me 19 arrows out of that as well, so I definitely appreciate that. Lock those in. I can now go back to missing all of my shots like I was before. I got a little heckers there for a second. That was not especially fun. I'm not going to bother with the loot and specs because I just feel like I've never really had any success with them. So I'm going to try to go with the XP guy and see if that works out better. Sneak of a trash makes no sound. Fucking valuable book. Thank you very much. Anything in you? Some extra dosh, both sellable and non-sellable. Can't. Where's all the rest of the books that we started off hot with the urban combat book? Let's keep that mojo going. Keep that energy up and excited like. Nope, nope. Just gonna go back to paper again. <sighs> yep, that nah, is what it is. I'm used to it by now. I've gone through and rated all the bookshelves. I actually found a couple of things, some of which I've already read and others which I haven't. Like a reserve fuel tank mod schematic. I'll read you. Thank you. Already read some of these. Want to read my for the experience. An arrow rest mod schematic. If I ever get a better bow, that will probably help the fact that I can't hit shit out of that thing. Also got a frothy recipe. So pretty excited to have some jabrudels going on. Put that in my mind and really make it stick. Also found a couple of iron spear schematics. I'll read them both just for the sake of it. Like, I don't know, someone might be excited by finding spear schematics, but I, having played this game before, know that spears in this game are about as useful as game of bathwater, with no traces of game in there at all a gamer in there at all. A complete waste of everybody's time. Oh, that's a bit more my speed, though. A pump shotgun schematic. I'm inspecting the shotguns at all, but even a tier one of those bad boys wouldn't be anything to turn your nose up at. Oh, jeez. All right. Well, I thought I was okay. Then suddenly a snake was coming through the window. 
Oh, that was like bloody that awful scene in one of the Star Wars, whatever it was. It made no sense, but I mean, that's just every scene in the Star Wars. I love it anyway. I'm actually really hungry and I've got a fair lot of things on me for now. So I might quickly make a campfire. Just craft it up nice and quick and chuck you down in and whip you onto the bench over here because I've got to cook and... I'll make a campfire and I'll just whack it onto the bench over here like that and definitely make a dumb mistake again. You can go like that. You can go like that. Do I have anything that I can cook myself? Yeah, some boiled meat. That'll get me through because I'm just so peckish right now. My stamina is low and that's kind of how I'm getting fucked up more than anything else. So that's all good. Get you cooking away. Saves me some extra work on the inventory space as well. Because I'm really starting to get overloaded. Time to... St oh, don't stand in the fire, dickhead. Time to start throwing away the things that aren't actually helpful. I can get more of that. That's fine. I can get more of that. That's fine. I'll scrap you for the iron. I can get more of that. That's fine. I can drink a coffee. Just enjoy myself a little bit. I'm going to keep the potato seed because I'm apparently a farmer boy now. The rest of this stuff is all pretty helpful. This is going to finish on exactly the right moment with zero seconds remaining. Perfect. I'll take you with me. That can just stay there for future me in case I ever need to. All right. Let's finish off this POI in a second actually because i just realized i'm dry as a bone and i need to go outside which is a really bad idea you with scrap you i no i don't need you actually i'll take the clay though because clay is going to help me get uh extra farm plots and give it a live in the desert oh there's some farm <gasps> some extra food thank you there are some farms around hang on a second can i make more like potato seeds out of that what do i need for you potato seed a bunch more. Nah, not happening. Frothy. Yeah, sure. Throw that away. Scrap you. Is that rain? Is that rain? Looks like rain. I'll wait till it's actually drizzling. It's come up at the right time for once in my life. Yes, I may be drunk as shit, but there we go. Get a little gooey too. Just like... Oh, no. Never mind. Hang on. How about I actually hit the target? Still missed the target. All right, not great. Here comes rest of them though. I may be singing double. We can just aim between them. I'm sure we'll hit them eventually. Can I get out? Sit down. Stay down. What are you hiding in the cracker book box? That's what I'm here to see. Open you up with. Ooh. Almost valuable stuff. Sure, I'll just read them both because why not finish all the books if we can? Aloe vera seed for a freebie. Don't mind if I do. Have I got concrete right now? I do have concrete on me right now, so I'll take those with me as well. Really get my concrete stores up and going. We're almost through. We're almost done. We've made it all the way around to the loot room again, going through the roof this time, the way it's supposed to go. Can I see any spawns? Anyone looking particularly dangerous to me? Work away all the way around. How you doing, bud? Right through the top of your hard hat. Might protect you from a spanner or a hammer, but not from a nice well shot arrow for once in my life. All the way through. Skomo. Nice and dead. Is that... Oh, geez. Going through the vents. But that's okay. One more. Are we all good? Whoever's left, we take mono or mono. Nah, we're all good. I did a good job for a change. Good job, me. Breaking lockpicks like they're old spaghetti, but we're getting ever closer to getting the fabled zeros we so desperately need. Come on, please. There you go. Into the zeros. Happy days. Now, we've been doing okay without the loot and gogs on, so we're going to stick with it for now. Reinforced chest with a fucking proper tier one pistol. No more pipe pistols for me and another chlamydia mod. And a bat book. Power attacks increase the chance of locking down an enemy. Fucking great book to have. Yes, please. You. Only one place to put it, I suppose. Ooh, barbed wire or Bernie's. Can I put both of them in there, actually? Yes, I can. I mean, that stuns enemies, which I really do like. It slows them down, but I think the Chlamydia mod is probably the better way to go. How do you look? The burn... Oh, wow. The burn and spiky baseball bat. Now, I really should call you, Darlene. Read both of you. All right, let's get the rest of this shit and get out of here because it's almost night time. I very much overstayed my welcome. Reflex sight mod schematic. Thank you. And some glue and some iron. That's all fine and dandy. Last but not least, though, whatever you got stored for me, just... 44 Magnum schematic. If I make that, actually, that'll give me a discount at the traders. That's actually not a bad shout. I think I've got everything in here. Yes, I do. All right, time to leave then. There's no, like, there's no, like, good way to leave this place, is there? No, there's not. All right, well, in that case, then, I'll just beat my way through this wall. Gonna get back on the bike before the night time comes in and start pedaling my little tushy back home again. This thing just looks menacing. It just looks like a bad time. Oi! Hey, you guys want to come and have a bad time? Just let me just quickly just cool off a little bit. You're just gonna have to... 
Gonna have to wait your turn to get in the bathtub, all right? You can play with your rubber ducky all you like, but the water source is mine. Bonk, and then bonk. Yeah, how's it feel? How's it fucking feel? In a wise words, a simple plan. Welcome to my life. I've taken all my frames back because I don't want to waste any, but what I am going to do is quickly mark this like you. Save waypoint, little wet drop. There you go. Yep, that'll do nicely. Okay, so now I know this is where I can come to if I do need a soak. Ooh, no, nah, I'm not. I, I'm, I am feeling brave. I shouldn't be feeling brave. Just get back on the bike and start heading home because, boy, we've got a journey ahead of us. Oh, I can't help myself. I can't help myself. There's a bloody vending machine right here and a couple of zombies around, but that's okay. It's a broken one, but you are a working ATM. Oh, and there's an ice chest over there as well. See if I can break that down. See if the rumors are true that I can break that down and get some snowballs out of there to make myself a couple of cheeky yucca smoothies. Come on. Come on, let me in. Let me in nice and early in one fell swoop. Let me inside you. Zeros? Fucking how you doing, Kobaru? Lovely, lovely. For another... Wait, no, I'm typing. I don't want to type. You, take. There we go. $320 reduce. But more importantly, to you... I reckon you might be a wrench job. Hang on, hang on. Get you and... You do give me snowballs. All right. Turns out for once, the comments weren't lying to me. I'm not going to overthink this really at all. I'm just pointing my front wheel west and pedaling my way back to safety again. Just want to get back there, get back to my knife. Oh, jeez. Oh, I just ran over that dingo's tail. I'm real sorry about there, there, knackers. I'm going to head out home, go check on my farm, make sure all my crops are still happy as Larry. Oh, it's been a day. It's been a long bloody day, but at least we're still alive to talk about it. I can see the little turret on my house poking out out of the gloom. I really like that house. It'd be a really cool place, like, as an actual house. It'd be a really cool place to live in if it wasn't all dilapidated and mostly broken. But I'm pretty happy just down in my little lonely basement down there, just praying for the day when I might be able to get a bit more room to stretch me legs and really make a life for myself down under the ground. Full Kubipedia spec. We'll get over there. Look, I'm going to go see Trader today. We didn't succeed in finding a band. We didn't succeed in finding an August schematic. Because, of course, not. I made a mistake of saying at the start that this is what I wanted to do, which means it's never going to freaking happen. It's good to be home again. Chuck everything I can into the boxes real quick. Thank God for all these sorty buttons. I still haven't sorted out the inventory yet. I'll get to that at some point. I mildly promise you. I shouldn't make promises, though, because I'm never going to keep them. You, sellables into them. Uh, cooking pots can go into that one. There you go. Some extras. In fact, quickly chuck in some food for me. I'm no longer hungry and all thirsty because I fed myself well, but always happy just to make sure I'm real noshed up. Mods in. In fact, you can have that one as well. You can all go into them. All right, let's go get the rest of shit out of the bike. My chemistry station is now done. You'll love to see it. I'm going to need a spot to chuck her down, though. Uh, I actually haven't put down a land claim block yet, have I? No, so I'm going to grab on a you, quickly whip you up, because I want to move my campfire there. Although, oh, but look, you've got like this nice one block gap here and one block gap there. I need to like seat the chemistry station into the wall. I could probably do that. Yeah, you're not that strong. I could do that. That's fine. I'm going to take a little bit of work, but symmetric uh, symmetricality is always important. It's worth the effort. So what's really interesting there is that for some reason, like the wall behind that wall is just more brickwork. So it still looks fine. Almost looks better this way even. I'll put you down. I'll fix up the rest of those blocks later. That's all good. So now I don't really need to move my campfire, but I still will anyway. Give me you... Where's, like, the center of the building then? Where's, like, the dead center of the building? Probably around about there. Which I would assume is right here. Okay. All right. Well, that's not too bad then. I will actually... No, you're way too strong. Never mind. I'll get rid of this block right next to it and chop my land claim block right there. So this... So that's one pretty swing. So this whole place is now well and truly mine. You know what? Actually, just to really lay my claim to this joint, because home is where the ludicrously large boxes of Pringles are. I'm going to chuck my campfire up on top of you. You guys can go back into them. All right. Good. I've got a little spot for everything all across the joint to get rid of those bricks, and we'll all look like we're sitting pretty. I think that's been a pretty good day, actually. There was some pretty big hiccups, but we've made it back home. And it's like, it's like landing a plane. Any landing you can take off from or walk away from is a good landing. Just to really lean into this little, like, symmetricality thing I've got going on here. Chuck a torch on that side. Make a new one to put it over here. And I think we're good to go. You can go back into there. Back into there. Same with you. 
Has that torch coming? Three more seconds. So I think we're pretty good. Tomorrow, though, what's my plan? Are you, are you serious? Are you serious? You are in the way. I don't... <laughs> Always trips me up. I know that like the seven days thinks it like one meter by one meter squares, but every single time it still confuses me. There we go. That looks bloody dope. So I think tomorrow I need to continue my push to try and get myself an auger or find a bear and kill it. So maybe I'll try and stick to this town, go around the earth, go see if I can find like the bear den or um that construction site with the bear underneath. And I guess just cross my fingers, I find the August schematic. That's super bloody important. But as soon as I find that, I can really start construction on my bedrock base. But that's gonna have to wait until another episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.